Hi, this is State Representative Tony Huang, and I'm also with State Senator Carlo Leone from Stanford. Talk to me a little bit more about the, um, the Veterans Program, the VWIP program. That is something for me as someone who is absolutely respectful and appreciative of what veterans have given to our country and, and to our freedom. Um, what is that about and what does it do? This is another one of our programs, and this is one that I'm in charge of, which I'm so happy to be doing for the fact that I'm also the veterans, uh, a veteran from the United States Air Force. So there's a lot of veterans coming back from the, the conflicts that are going on around the world, and a lot of them are coming back with uh, great skills, but not necessarily easily transferable into the civilian world. So our job is to help give them some level of training, retraining, um, that is, and under the VWIP program, Veterans Workforce Investment Program, it's green technologies. So we're trying to put veterans that have these great skills and the fact that they're disciplined, they're self-starters, self-motivated, mm -hmm. uh, you give them a task, they adapt and overcome. That's their model. They know how to do that. And again, that's an, those are the other intangibles employers are looking for. So we will provide training for veterans in the green technology sectors, which is a very broad spectrum, and we have employers that are interested in us training for their jobs and our goal is to promote that. So it's a way of giving back not just to the community but giving back to veterans who have sacrificed their time, um, their ability to go out there and even uh, give the ultimate sacrifice if it was needed. Um, now that they're coming back we should be doing something for them and, and that alone is just a lot of pleasure. Well, I, I've learned so much from you about that. Now, there, there's an incarcerated veterans transition program as well? Yeah, that's also another one. There are veterans that, uh, you know, they've been incarcerated for one reason or another, but the best way to help people from not going back into prison or getting incarcerated is to help find them work. And obviously that's a huge uh, hurdle to overcome for someone that has a, a record. Um, if they can't get the job, then really their only opportunity is to go back in because otherwise they're going to be on the streets and we don't want that. So our goal there is to try and give them the proper training and the mental adjustment coming out of the prison population, the incarceration, and provide them uh, training that employers that are willing and looking to give person a second chance. So this is all about second chances and redemption. And we do a lot of the screening, we do a lot of the training, mm -hmm. so that when they get to an employer, any issues that might have been preventing them from being interviewed will have been eliminated. The workplace does the screening process. They yes. do most of the heavy lifting to ensure that the standards of, of, of skills and qualifications and the fact that they are working very hard to maintain that path of, of, of sustainability. That's right. That's right. Well, let me repeat again, um, the workplace, one of the special gems in this area, uh, unfortunately, I wish it wasn't in so much business, but with the unemployment yep. rate as high as it is, um, it is a fantastic resource. And I'll repeat again, it's yep. www.workplace.org. .org, yes. and, and it's a fantastic resource. And if you have a need, if you have any questions, please reach out to them. They can be an incredible godsend. So thank you very much. Thanks, Carlo. Absolutely. Appreciate thank it. you. Thank you very much.